Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will guide you through the entire five-step process I take to design logo and brand identity for a business. I will show you the process from start to the end of the project and share with you the insights into how I work with the companies, the steps I take to design a logo, and also how I deliver the project. I am a lead designer and also co-founder at AG Global Designs, where our main goal is to help establish businesses by providing graphic design, website design and development, and also marketing solutions. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. If you want to learn more about graphic design, website design and development, and also tips about growing your business online. These are the five steps we follow during the logo design and brand identity design project. The first step is getting to know the business. In this step, we get to know the client's vision and goals for the project. In the second step, we finalize the package and we send a contract, statement of work and the invoice to a client. In the third step, we analyze the business and do industry research. In the fourth step, we design the logo and we do logo design revisions. In the fifth and the final step, we deliver the project. Let's talk about the first and initial step of the project. It's getting to know the client's business. When the client initially reaches out to us with the interest of getting logo design and brand identity design done for their small or startup business, the first step will be for us to take is get to know the client's vision and goals for the project. In the beginning of the project, we ask the client a strategic set of questions that will help us to get to know the business and get the most important information from the client that will allow us to start the project. The better we know the client's vision, the better result the client will get. I will share with you some examples of questions we usually ask the client. At first, we ask a general set of questions, such as uh, what services the client provides, uh, what makes them unique in the market, and we also ask to provide um, the links to the websites of their main competitors and other questions. We also ask design-related questions such as what colors they want their brand to be, what words are better fit to their brand, and other questions. If you are interested in seeing all the questions that we ask the client before we start logo design project, then go to the link below in the description area to see the question list. After the package is confirmed, we send the client the contract, scope of work and the invoice document. Scope of work document outlines everything we'll do and deliver to a client. We also send the client a contract. Our contract is very straightforward. It outlines all the main details about the project, such as timeline, delivery information, revisions, refunds, and more. We also send the first invoice for 50% deposit before we start the project. And we send the other half of the invoice before the completion of the project. The next step is analyzing the business and doing industry research. This step is the beginning of the project, it's when we start working on building the brand. Based on the information the client has provided us about the business and the project, we take that information and start analyzing it, as it will give us a better overview of what kind of logo and brand identity we are going to create for a business. In the next step, we will be analyzing the business's competition. If the client has provided us with the links to the websites of the business's main competitors, then we will go to their websites and start analyzing the colors, the fonts, the graphics, and the overall brand style of the business. This step is crucial, as through analyzing the competition, it will allow us to create the brand that is different and stands out from other companies. And now we're moving to the design stage of the process. It's designing the logo and doing logo revisions with the client. I'm going to work with the client and design a logo for a software that is called Renew. The software focuses on renewable energy sources such as solar, windmill, nuclear, geothermal and other. From the creative brief, I extract the most important points that tell me of what the client wants the logo to look like. 
The logo is going to be in modern and clean style. We're going to use leaves or a cycling icon as a logo design element. We're going to use green colors and the logo type is going to be lettermark or wordmark. I keep these points pulled out throughout the whole design process as it will help me to make sure the design meets the requirements. And then I go on Pinterest and I try to find some inspirational ideas of the logos or brands I like. Here you can see I picked several logo design ideas that I really liked. From here I get an inspiration from all these logo examples that I got on Pinterest. I try to come up with my own unique logo design concept. And now I start sketching a few logo design ideas in my notebook. Once I have a pretty good idea of what kind of logo I'm going to design for a business, I take a picture of the logo design concepts that I have created and I paste it into the Illustrator dashboard. I can reference it throughout the design process. The first step I take is I get the color palette that I want to use in the logo. In this case, we're going to use different shades of green. Then I have to choose the font that I want to use in the logo. Here I have three different variations of the font types uh, and I have to pick the best one that I like. In this case I'm going to pick the middle one because I think it would look the best in the logo. Then I go ahead and start designing the logo. Here you can see I made a few variations of the text with different gradient and also I added a little leaf on the side of the letter U. Now I'm going to design a first logo design concept from the sketch I have made earlier. The idea of this concept is I'm going to use a recycling icon and integrate leaves into it. I made a few variations of the icon and then I was trying to integrate that icon into the text. And see how the design element would look like in a horizontal vertical logo and also as an icon. I didn't really like this logo design, so I move on to creating a second logo design concept. Here you can see I finished designing the icon from the sketch. The main idea of the logo is it represents the leaves forming the letter R with different green gradients that give the depth to the logo. Then I went ahead and started experimenting with the icon. I added a circle behind the icon. After seeing horizontal and vertical logo examples, uh, I decided to remove the circle as it looks too cluttered. I went ahead with a simpler version of the logo as it looks more modern and clean. During the process, I sent the client updates about the logo and also revisions. In this case, the client was happy with how the logo turned out. We finalized the logo and I started preparing the brand style guide. Brand Style Guide is a document that contains all the information that helps to form the brand, such as typography, colors, logos, and imagery. This document will help the company to stay consistent throughout different platforms, social media, marketing, and the website. As the customers are significantly more likely to purchase from a brand, they recognize for their consistent image. And I also made a few poster examples to see how the logo would look like on the top of the related image. And I also made the mock-ups to see how the logo would look like on a software package, the t-shirt and a hat. After the logo and the full package is finalized and the client is 100% happy with the outcome, I go ahead and start preparing the files for delivery. Here you can see I have different variations of the logos I'm going to export. As we deliver multiple files and multiple variations of the logo, we organize the files in the specific structure. As we found, the structure is the most logical for clients and it allows to easily navigate throughout multiple versions of their files. Here is the example of the structure. And finally, when all the files are ready, I write an email to a client that contains the overview of the project and everything we have completed. And I list all the files we have delivered in Google Drive or a Dropbox folder. I hope you found this video helpful and you got an insight of the process I followed to complete logo design and brand identity design project. If you learned something new in this video or you just enjoyed watching, please like the video and subscribe this channel. It will help me a lot to make more videos like this. Thank you for your support. If you're a business owner and you're looking to get your business to the next level and get logo design or a custom website design for your business, then head over to our website to get started.